Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import reference images for your characters inside of Blender. And we're going to do it at the start without even needing to do an add-on. So uh, first I want to just show how you can bring your images in. Locate them on your computer using your file explorer and drag them to a location that does not have a cube or another mesh in the way. Let go. And an empty as an image will be created. Now there's one issue with this method, which is that you can't bring in the sides of a empty image in order to crop it out. So if you're going to be doing this method, then you need to separate the front side and rear facing profiles of your character into separate images before you do this. So that's pretty easy to do with a tool like GIMP. So I'm just going to drag this character into GIMP, and then I'm going to take each profile of the character and put it in a new document and we export it. So I'm going to select the character here, not worrying too much about the extra transparent space, control X, going to file new. Just going to leave the image document as the same size. Make sure that fill with background color is actually changed to transparency. Hit OK. Hit Control V to paste it in. Click down here to make it a new layer. And, and this would also have very similar steps with Photoshop. So now we just need to go up to the image menu and do crop to content. And there we have our image to bring in. So I'm going to do file export. Give it a name, male character one dot PNG. Let's export that dot PNG, export that. And now I just do the same thing with the side in the back. So select it, control X, new document, make sure it's set to fill with transparency, control V to paste it in, image, crop to content, export it, and then export it as a PNG. So now that on the original, the other two are missing, I can just crop this here. So I'm going to do image, crop to content, file, export as. So now back in Blender, we just need to bring in these three views. So I'm going to drag it in there side and the back. So now click on each of them and change the object properties. The location is going to be zero, 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 put it right in the center of our scene. And I will take the rotation and initially set that to zero, zero, zero as well, uh, so that we can kind of easily see how we need to flip it 90 degrees. So I'm going to do R and then it looks like we need to do X to make it front facing one to go into front facing view. Let's click on the cube X to delete it and then hit OK. And now we just move this up so that the feet are touching the bottom of the ground. So let's so G and then Z to move it up here, put it right about there and do the same thing with the other views just for the sides instead. So I'm going to click here and then do the same thing for the other views. So click on the side view and then reset the position and the rotation. Let's hit three to go into side view R to rotate 90 degrees and then let's rotate it R 90 degrees X to make it front facing and then R Z 90 degrees to make it side facing. Okay. So now if we hit three for right orthogonal, so if we hit three to go to right view G and Z to move it up here, and then we just need to do G and Y to align it roughly with the center line going up and down here so that it matches our front facing part of the character as well. Okay. So let's just do the back really quick, select it. And then zero, zero, zero for the location, zero, zero, zero for the rotation. Now I'm going to rotate it R 90 degrees X. Okay. So that's going to make it front facing and then R 180 Z to make it back facing. So if I hit control one to go to back view, now we can hit G and then Z to move it up, position it right about there. And we have the three views of our character available to use as a reference. So one minor problem that we'll have if uh, I click on one of these and move them off to the side is that uh, we can see the front view from the back. So that's pretty easy to fix. If you click on empty and then click on object data properties down here at the bottom, uh, just change that to front. So now we can only see the front from the front. And if you click on empty two, which should be the back, I'm also going to do front there on side front so that we can't see the back from the front and we can't see the front from the back. This side view we can leave alone. Okay, so the last thing we might want to change about this is making it so that our empty images will show in front of any mesh that we're building with these character references. So if I hit one to go to front view, let's do shift A to add a mesh. I'll do a cube, move it up here. And then you can see that the uh, character is hiding behind the mesh. So to fix that, click on each of these empty images 
and change the depth to front, which is going to make it always show in front. But we do want to be able to see the mesh as well. So change the opacity and then lower it down to something like 0.5 for 50% transparency. And then while you're building your mesh, you'll always be able to see the mesh, but you'll always be able to also see the character reference, which will help you out. Um, so just do the same for the sides as well. Click on the side and then do front opacity 0.5 and the back image front opacity 0.5 okay and that is basically it so i'm doing one to go to front view three to go to side view and control one to go to back view and there's our character reference now if you don't want to have to separate the image with the three profiles into three separate images you could use import images as planes which is a blender add-on so you go to edit preferences and then add-ons search for an image it'll probably be the only one here and then just make sure this is checked so when you have import images as planes now you can go to file import images as planes locate the original image with the three views on your computer so i'm going to double click that now you'll notice uh, a disadvantage is that you can't see it in solid view so you need to go to material preview view to actually see the image at least by default so I'll do Z to scale it up to the size we want it. And to crop away the profiles we don't want, hit tab to go into edit mode, two to go into edge mode, click on one of the sides that you want to crop. And I'm going to double tap G to slide it along the edges and just get it to the point where you can only see one of the three views of the character. And uh, now you just need to do that three times, cropping out the sides that you don't want and then positioning them uh, just like we did with the empty image method as well. And so that's basically two ways of importing a reference image into Blender so that you can use it for building your characters. I've been Chris. I hope this video helped all of you out there. Thanks for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future video content.